Sending you things I shouldn't do Cause you're on my mind and I can't sleep tight And I know that we're talking night But it's not that type of type of to do Hey guys, welcome back to my channel I thought I would take you along for a few days in the life of a dietetic student So I'm currently studying the nutrition and dietetics degree at London Metropolitan University And I have just started year three of the four year degree i'm feeling so happy to be well on my way now um it is november the beginning of november so i've already done all of october and i am today at home because the lectures are online because we have some train strikes in london so i thought i would show you a little bit about what it's like studying dietetics so today this morning i have a presentation um it is a piece of coursework that we are doing it was a group presentation it was meant to be in person at university but it's gone online now i'm working with three other people and it is for the module in nutrition and dietetic research um i think it's called techniques in nutrition and dietetic research so we had to find a research article that we found really interesting and that applied to our care of patients and something that we found interesting and then we analysed it using the CASP tool which is something you'll learn a lot about if you choose to study dietetics or if you're already studying dietetics or another um, health science degree so this morning we will be presenting that. Ours is on type 2 diabetes and the use of a low carbohydrate diet, so that's super interesting. And then tomorrow I am in university, so I'll be in London um, all day tomorrow. We have some practitioner skills training, which is sort of all about like health communication and how to talk to patients and communicate well and help with behaviour change. So that's tomorrow in the morning. And then in the afternoon, it is a guest lecturer with a specialist. I think it's renal tomorrow. So I'm going to take you along and show you a little bit more about the university, hopefully show you a little bit of London Met. Um, and what we get to there and then on Wednesday the lectures are online again so that's nutrition through the life cycle Wednesday afternoon so I'm going to take you along for a few days in my life as a dietetic student This morning it went really well I think it was a bit difficult doing it online um, it's always harder because you're not presenting in front of an audience so you can't really gauge their response to things but it went well that's all finished now and now I've just been spending some time creating a weekly to-do list and considering what things I'm gonna need to do on which days um so i'm just trying out a different way of doing this at the moment i've gone back into notion i used to always keep my to do list in notion um which is just a platform online platform which is free for students um i'll link that down so i'm trying to just get back into the swing of creating a full weekly to do list for a while I haven't been doing it for this first month I haven't been doing it because sometimes I find it more overwhelming um, but now as things are progressing and I have more of my coursework deadlines approaching it's time to start being able to prioritize a little bit more again so I've decided to go back to looking at the week as a whole first and then deciding what I can slot into the day um, and a key for me is just making sure that the actual daily to-do list isn't 
too big and isn't like super unachievable um and it's just easier that way and then you can switch things back to the weekly to do this if you don't manage to do them so just doing that now and um now we have a lunch break it's about quarter to one so probably going to try and go for a bit of a walk and get some fresh air because when lectures are online which is very rare now like you end up just staying inside all day so i'm gonna try and do that done for the day now with lectures um i just continued doing a bit more planning for the week at the end after my last tutorial and now i'm just going to get myself sorted a bit for the week things i didn't do yesterday on sunday um just a bit of housework and getting myself organized um i thought i would just tell you a little bit about what's happening tomorrow um in case i don't get a chance to speak directly to you i'm going to take you along to school tomorrow um in london in the morning we have some practitioner skills training so it's um looking at how we communicate with patients and it's looking at a more inpatient clinic that's in the morning and then in the afternoon I have a renal, um, so a kidney specialist dietitian coming in and we are going to have a lecture by them and then later in the afternoon we have a tutorial on um, inflammatory bowel disease. So that's what I'm going to take you along for. I do actually also have a casting at lunchtime if you've watched any of my previous videos I work alongside studying and I model, I've been doing that for the last seven years so I'm still trying to fit that in around university but luckily tomorrow I have a casting on a university day so that's really helpful because when I'm in the city if I can do both simultaneously that's really helpful so I will take you along. It's at my agency so I will show you um, going to that as well or as much as I can and I will check in with you later. Sending you things I shouldn't do Cause you're on my mind and I can't sleep tight And I know that we're talking night But it's not that type I don't want you to do it Cause I'm fed up I can never be in love for you Oh, I'm fed up of this Cause you're my best dream First nightmare all at the same time Oh boy, you blow my mind up I don't know how to feel for you You make everything so, so, so confused Best dream, worst nightmare all at the same time Oh boy, you blow my mind up I don't know how to feel for you You make everything so, so, so confused Sending you things I shouldn't do Trying to push you 
it is the evening now i'm back home it's actually quite late now i think it's about half past eight i've been home and had dinner already so i showed you a little bit about a little bit of my day to day in London at university. I didn't actually speak to the camera at all. As you would have seen, I was at university and this morning we had lectures on communication skills where we did some role playing. And then at lunch I went and did a casting. I went into Covent Garden and that went well. It was very quick, but got that done. Saw my agency, which is really nice. Haven't seen them since I've been back from summer. And then in the afternoon I had a really interesting lecture um, on renal dietetics by a specialist dietitian. And then after I had a tutorial on an IBD, um, inflammatory bowel disease patient with Crohn's disease. We are working through a case study. So that was really, really interesting. So it's been a pretty intense day. Tuesdays are really quite intense. Tuesdays are our days where we are compul it's compulsory so you really you have to attend so many of them to be able to pass this term to be able to go on to your first hospital placement which mine is in February. Tuesdays are super fascinating they're actually like my favourite day at university but it is also very mentally taxing <laughs> like switching between those different specialisms um, can be quite tiring but it's been a good day um, and now I'm just going to unwind I'm going to get into my comfies and make a chai latte <laughs> and have some chocolate and things and relax read my book and I will see you in the morning tomorrow I have Italian lesson in the morning and then I have university in the afternoon as well which is a bit up in the air if it's going to be online or in person because of the train strikes that are still going on so I will check in with you in the morning originally meant to be going into university this afternoon like I said yesterday but change of plan now because these train strikes are just like all over the place my trains are all a bit messed up so I'm allowed to go on the lecture online virtually I like log on to the live stream so that's this afternoon at two o'clock this morning I had an Italian lesson and that went really well and now I'm going to go have a second coffee and then I'm going to sit down and do some pre-reading before the lecture this afternoon. The lecture is nutrition through the life cycle and it's a on pregnancy, nutrition through pregnancy and fetal nutrition so that will be really interesting. It's an area I'm very interested in and um, sort of paediatrics as a whole. So I'm looking forward to that but for now some coffee is really needed on this Wednesday and I should try and get outside again today but yeah another home working day. Mm -hmm. 